you released your album last month, uh, in February only. Um, how, how was that? Was it your first album uh, with this group? How was yeah. that? Um, it was great. It came out in the States in February and then it just came out here in April on Partisan. And um, it's been awesome. We've been touring on it for four months and uh, it just keeps getting better and better. And what kind of response do you get from the audience with the, with the music? It's great because we were playing those songs for a long time before the album came out. So now to go and play them and you know, people know the lyrics and know the song, uh, it's, it's great. Because uh, can you maybe explain? You, uh, I know you created the music uh, before this group got together as it is. Uh, can you explain how this went and why, uh, why and how this this started? How the group started? You want to take this one? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it, it, it all started with Richie. It was a project that he was working on while we were both playing in Colts and. Uh, we released an EP for free on the internet, and it got a lot of response. So we decided to break off and start playing shows. And that's basically it. And how, how did uh, you get uh, to the group? Uh, I don't know. They, <laughs> they, yeah, when they formed the band, they asked me to be a part of it, I guess. We're all really good friends, so it kind of just happened naturally, I guess. So you two were the, were the start at the uh, Colts, and that's your sister plays on that. Um, <laughs> did that time affect how this album turned turn out, or was it was your sister just separate and this uh, music was also separate from the Colts? Uh, yeah, this record, uh, you know, a lot of time had passed between us leaving and actually between, uh, between us leaving and actually making this record so we had figured out what we wanted to do with this band and um, it was definitely more of a different thing you know we wanted to be a rock band and uh, which is kind of like what our older band was and um, we kind of came to that conclusion just by touring a lot with guards uh, before we made the album and so yeah, it's there are two separate things. Are you feeling more at home in the guards now than uh, in the? Yeah, audience? yeah. I uh, this is kind of like more of what we were used to playing. You know, we we all grew up like listening to punk music and uh, you know Nirvana and stuff, and uh, we had always played in like garage and rock bands and. So this is kind of more just getting back to what we have always been doing, you know. And uh, you, uh, I read you, you joined the cults initially to just have a, more, a little bit more relaxed time in, in a band. Yeah. And now you, you're heading a band again. Yeah. Uh, is, is, it, is it nice for you to be heading it again? And be yeah, it was, a good, it was a good break, you know, because I did my other band I, I, I fronted a band for like 10 years, you know, so it was good to, you know, just play guitar and be the sideman. Uh, but it's not as lucrative. So. You can't take the lead <laughs> out of the singer. Yeah. You can't put the singer out of the lead. Yeah, but yeah. you can't take the lead out of the singer. Um, you, uh, of course, you, you uh, work, work together with, with your sister, but you also work together with other artists. Uh -huh. um, what do you get out of this? What, 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 is, what is the, the added value of, of the collaborations? Uh, I think it can bring a song into a completely different place that you would have never brought it. And uh, it's, you know, rewarding to have people you admire work with you on stuff. Can you uh, give an example of a song that, that just got Like Caroline off? from Chairlift on our EP, she guested on a song. Uh, and, you know, before she sang on the song, it was kind of like a completely different song. 
you know, when she came in, it just took a whole new direction. And I had always, uh, I res totally respect her as a musician. So to have her be involved with it uh, was great. And, uh, you know, then at the end of the day, we got a great song. <laughs> and, uh, of course, this album is, is just new, but do you already have some ideas of people you want to work with in the future? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, we kind of uh, resisted doing that with this record as far as like guest singers and stuff go, uh, just so it'd be its own thing. But we definitely had a lot of people also on this record. Like We had like six different bass players play on it. Uh, and we, we definitely have people we want to work with, but uh, we have to wait till we're home and not touring. <laughs> so we actually start recording and doing stuff before, before that whole process begins. To, to also just relax and think about yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, I know we, like, we definitely have producers we want to work with, but... Uh, Do you have examples? Yeah, I mean, we've always wanted to work with Fridman. Uh, he does like all the Flaming Lips records. Uh, and uh, who else were we just talking about recording with? Mario C. Oh yeah, <laughs> the guy who recorded all the Beastie Boys stuff. Uh, That's quite a quite a different yeah. sound <laughs> yeah. to your music. Is that a direction you want to go to? I mean, we don't want to start rapping or anything, but as far as the production of those records, I think they're amazing. Yeah. And uh, He did Hello Nasty and Ill Communication, which yeah. are for, they're sort of punk sounding hip hop records. You know, it's, everything's really dirty. And a lot of it's just rock samples, yeah. you know? Uh, he did the record before Ill Communication Oh, yeah, too. yeah, the one with uh, What You Want. Yeah. Uh, and. It, our manager now, he used to run Grand Royal, so we've kind of got that connection going, <laughs> which we're having a push for. It. It it's good to know a lot of people, I yeah. <laughs> in your story. Uh, I also want, wondered about the, 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 the lyrics. Uh, you, do you write them? I think with this album, you mostly wrote them? Write the lyrics, yeah. yeah. But do you have ideas also about lyrics you want to incorporate? In I mean, that's album? all him. That's all, all him. him. And I do like melody. Stuff, yeah, like O's and ideas for melodies and stuff. And uh, Kaylee had some writing suggestions, but it was after we had finished the album. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've never, I, I've never uh, had someone else write lyrics because to me it seems kind of like a really weird thing, uh, which. I wasn't that into before, but I mean, I could see possibly doing it. But for this record, yeah, I wrote all the lyrics.